welcome back to the channel everybody if you are new here my name is brenda and i like to film a lifestyle vlog so if you're into that kind of thing please support my channel by clicking subscribe don't forget to like this video comment and share so welcome back to another vlog i'm excited to have taken y'all along throughout the day today at the end of the week it's really nice to just stay on top of your chores so that the upcoming week can be very smooth and organized laundry is one of the key things that i like to stay on top of i throw a laundry in almost every day because i don't like to have the laundry baskets filled up but on the weekend i do like to wash our bed sheets i also like to write out a grocery list that is if we're gonna go grocery shopping washing the sheets meal prepping in a sense that we're gonna cook like a protein and a carb and have that ready to go in the fridge when we go grocery shopping i like to organize our fruit in the drawers in the refrigerator right now it's summer so it tends to get really hot in our apartment quickly and our fruit tends to go bad really quickly if it's not in the correct temperature i like to just wash the fruit and put it in the fridge and have that ready to go but anyway welcome back to the vlog thank you so much for being here how was your costco trip rico it was all right pretty quick was it crowded as usual no nah, not as much but the faster we get in that the better why is that because i don't like to spend time at costco why it's the best uh -huh. yeah We made it back from Costco. We grabbed a watermelon. This is a really refreshing snack for summer because summer is here. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna slice this up today. And we also got some strawberries, which are really yummy in yogurt bowls or just simply to snack on or to have with a side of eggs in the morning. We grabbed more bananas because usually uh, we go through bananas really quickly but this time we got some really green ones, so these should be ripened by the end of the week. And by the time these are done, those should be ready. We also picked up some organic squash. I've been on a kick of cooking Greek chicken. In fact, I'm gonna cook that tomorrow and I'm gonna show you all the recipe that I follow. But we like to grill this whenever we have a Greek night is what we call it. We picked up some Greek yogurt. This is really yummy in the morning or as a snack with granola, chia seeds, honey, strawberries and banana and whatever other toppings you want. This one is a fat free one. So as you can see here, it has zero grams of fat and it has 18 grams of protein per two third cup, which is a really good serving. And then we picked up some organic chicken breast. We obviously like to freeze these pouches, but again, I'm gonna be cooking some Greek chicken tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna keep one of these out for tomorrow and then freeze the rest. We also ended up picking up some soy milk. This should last us a while. We enjoyed the regular flavor, but they didn't have it. Vanilla, in my opinion, is a little too sweet. In fact, I'm not a huge fan of the Costco brand soy milk, but it's really budget friendly and I don't really drink soy milk a lot. I just really just use it for toppings for my oatmeal. I use some soy milk for my smoothies, but I usually end up doing like half soy milk and half water. I ended up picking up a couple of household items, one of them being dish soap, and then we also picked up some vinegar. I like to keep this in hand for recipes and cleaning. And then we picked up a bunch of water bottles. So this is one of the cases, but we actually ended up picking up three of them because again, it is summer and yeah, we gotta stay hydrated. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. Oh, and I forgot to take this out because my husband put this in the freezer, but we also picked up some mahi-mahi. This is wild caught and it's seasoned with sea salt and roasted garlic. It's keto friendly. It's actually our favorite uh, fish right now. We were into salmon and cob fish, but right now we're into mahi-mahi. Throw this on the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the freezer. <laughs>
y'all just saw that I basically ripped off like the green parts of the strawberries and I just gave them a quick rinse with cold water, dumped that out and refilled it back up with cold water and put about less than a tablespoon of vinegar in here. So I'm gonna let that soak for a few minutes and there's already like tiny little things coming up over here, but these are the conventional strawberries. That is why I do this step. If they were organic, I probably wouldn't put them through vinegar, but that is the reason why. But we're gonna let those soak in not too long. We don't want the strawberries to taste like vinegar. Construction going on in our area right now. Construction, construction, more construction, construction everywhere. But you know what? That's okay, I, I guess. We're heading over to the park to take an evening stroll. I, I really enjoy doing this. My husband, on the other hand, let's go ahead and give him an interview. Why? I mean, I look forward to the park. The park's nice to walk around. Woo! Whoa! Look at that plane, everybody. It's coming right above us. Whoa, that looks so cool. Wow, did you hear that? It was like Indiana Jones status there for a minute. Also, if y'all haven't seen the new Indiana Jones movie, I totally recommend it. We saw it in IMAX. But I think... What do you think if we would have watched it in 3D? No, I don't think I would like it in 3D. I think it would look cool in 3D. I think it's worth There's it. There's too much going on to watch it in 3D. Exactly. You wouldn't be able to focus on anything. Exactly. You get a really wholesome experience. It is now the next day, so today is Sunday. I didn't film in the morning because we got ready to go to church and just ran a few boring errands, but I'm getting started with meal prepping for the week. I'm gonna get started with this Mediterranean grilled chicken breast recipe. I'm gonna link this recipe in the description below. I found it by simply Googling Greek chicken recipes. I wanted a recipe that was going to give me a juicy chicken breast because we like to buy the boneless and skinless and because of that, we don't have the fat from the bone or from the skin, therefore the chicken breast tends to taste really dry and it's really difficult to really cook it with lots of flavor. So I found this recipe and we love it. So it says here to combine the marinade in a plastic food storage bag and marinated for up to 20 minutes or up to two days in the fridge so i'm going to go ahead and marinate the chicken and put it in the storage bag and pop it in the fridge i saw a video yesterday of somebody making garlic knots at a restaurant Oh, it looks so lovely. Yeah, like you know like the ones that Wood Ranch gives you? Like their garlic bread? Like knots, kind of like the round table twist knots. Oh, it just looks so good. I was like, oh my. This is the one that we're gonna use to marinate the chicken. And we're gonna start off by putting the olive oil in here. So it's asking for three tablespoons of olive oil. And we're gonna double the recipe because like I said, we have doubled the amount of chicken breast that we're working with so that it's meal prep friendly. So we're gonna do about six tablespoons of olive oil. So that's one, two, three. 
And I'm actually going to add a little bit of extra olive oil because I am working with a couple of thicker chicken breasts. Here I'm also going to go in and add the lemon juice, which also asks for three tablespoons per four chicken breasts. And I'm working with about 11 chicken breasts. So we might end up using all of this one. I don't want it to taste too lemony either. I made the mistake of doing that last time. So I believe that was six tablespoons. I'm going to go ahead and add one more. And then it's gonna ask for one table, one teaspoon of paprika. Paprika's pretty spicy and it looks like I have just a little over two, so this is actually perfect. I'm actually gonna dump in the rest of this paprika in here. This actually is enough for all that chicken breast I'm working with, so y'all are my witness, I'm all out of paprika. Now it's gonna ask for half a teaspoon of oregano. This really gives it a really good flavor. So I'm actually gonna do triple the amount. So it all really just depends on how much chicken breast you have and the thickening, the, how thick they are too. The recipe says to cut the chicken breast in half, which I did. And before I put the chicken inside, I'm just gonna give this a, a little a bit, bit of a swoosh because I want to make sure that everything in there is really mixed in well. I'm kind of new at doing this. There's no right or wrong way of doing this, so. All right, and then now I'm gonna dump in my chicken, and based on how the chicken is getting coated is how I'm going to determine what seasonings I need to adjust. splash of lemon juice because I don't want it too sour. I'm gonna sprinkle it with more salt because I have a feeling it might need a little bit more salt and I'm gonna do a pinch of oregano. So this is what I'm doing in order to make sure that each chicken breast is evenly coated with the seasonings so that we have a flavorful chicken breast. Zip this back up and make sure there's like no air in here. Otherwise your bag will pop. I'm gonna put this in a bowl, just cause I don't want it to leak in the fridge for safety measures. And we're gonna put this in the fridge for about 40 minutes. The chicken is still marinating in the fridge. I was able to clean up and disinfect the area. And now I'm going to make the hummus. This book, I really, really like it. It's by Oshi oh Glows Every Day, Angela Lidon. I don't know how to say her last name, but I love her blog. When I used to eat 100% plant-based, um, I definitely used a lot of her recipes, hence all of the tabs. And I learned a lot of cooking skills based off of her, like her recipes. So her everyday lemon garlic hummus, which is this one right over here. So the everyday hummus i really really like it it's so flavorful and it pairs well as mentioned here with many dishes hummus obviously is typically paired with greek food mediterranean food so that's what we're gonna go for today i'm gonna go ahead and dump in the two cans of chickpea and i'm gonna go ahead and put my garlic clove here one clove goes a very long way. So we're gonna dump that in there. It asks for three to four tablespoons of lemon juice per one can of chickpeas. But because we're not going really extreme with the garlic, I'm actually gonna just do four. I like to use this tahini from Sprout. It's organic and unsalted. And this does the job. other edge of the spoon and see how we're going along now. To be honest, it's a little bit salty. 
I wonder if the can of chickpeas were low sodium. Oh my gosh. The chickpeas that I got are not low sodium and y'all saw the amount of salt that I put in there. So the hummus is salty, but I think it will balance well with the vegetables and the chicken, but I wish it wasn't salty. Yeah, it definitely has lots of sodium in here. Well, I should have checked, but I've been slipping when it comes to my grocery shopping. I've been missing things when I grab things, like what they say and yeah, I don't know. I've been slipping, but the hummus is salty and I think I can't do anything about it. It's already pretty runny as it is. I don't want it to be a smoothie either. I want it to be a hummus. So I think I'm just gonna leave things as are. If anything, it could be a good snack throughout the week with some vegetables like carrots or celery because when you work out and you sweat, you lose the minerals in your body and the salt can kind of help. You know, it's not that bad. Y'all, I've been getting down in the kitchen that even my glasses have a little bit of the splatter from all the cooking, but let me give y'all a Greek night tour what our plate consists of. So I tossed a spring mix here with purple onion and tomatoes, and I dressed it in some lemon juice, a drizzle of olive oil, salt, and black pepper. So this looks delicious it was easy to put together that's why i love pre-mixed greens grilled chicken looks fantastic and the grilled zucchini the homemade hummus and then right over here i forgot to tell y'all but i did cook up some rice pilaf so we're gonna go ahead and build our plate have this for dinner and what's exciting is that we have tons of chicken and zucchini and rice so this is gonna pack very well for meal prep throughout the week and it's gonna be filling and delicious. And once again, I'm going to link the recipe that I followed in the description below so y'all can check it out. We're gonna go ahead and try the chicken since the chicken is the star of the show. Hopefully, hopefully it tastes good. Let's see. Mm, it tastes wonderful. Mm -mm -mm. Look how quickly. So much flavor. It has so much flavor and it was very easy to marinate. Y'all saw the steps. I recommend this recipe. Oh my goodness. Now what we do with the creamy hummus, I just basically dip it in here. We're missing pita bread or lavage, but it's okay. You're fine without it. Absolutely delicious. Everything tastes great. We're so thankful. Thank God we have a plate of food here. Recommended. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy this and I'll probably see you after dinner to get a taste test of that watermelon that's right behind me. Watermelon is all cut and ready to go also for the week. I like to dice this up as soon as we can so that we have it for a snack throughout the week. And we're also gonna have some right now while we enjoy a movie tonight. So let me taste the watermelon in front of y'all. So funny and random story. Uh, the last time we bought a watermelon at Costco, as mentioned, it was the last time. We haven't grabbed one because the last watermelon that we got was super duper weird tasting. Never have I tasted a watermelon that was soggy, mushy, unsweet, bitter. It was the weirdest thing ever. So I was afraid that picking up another watermelon, it would taste that way. But we're gonna go ahead and taste this. 
Not gonna lie though, I did sneak in a bite and it did taste pretty good. So, mm -hmm. it tastes normal. It doesn't taste like super duper sweet, but it does taste normal. Oh. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Well, I hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog, this weekend reset type of vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. And I will see you all on the next vlog. Bye.